Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. The other day I made a video and I asked everyone, do you want to see a video in which I'm going to, to return something? I know I'm going to return it. Do you want to see a video with a return in it? And everybody said resoundingly yes. They want to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. They feel they would benefit by knowing why I'm not keeping the item, even though they might like it. They're not, they said they wouldn't be offended. They just want to know why I'm not going to keep it. This way they can make an informed decision. So here it is. This, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> this month I bought a couple of things from Dooney. And one thing from I Love Dooney. The two orders from Dooney went back before I asked you that question. And one was the um, All Weather Leather tote bag. And that went back because the front was crushed. It, the, the leather looked really, really nice. It's just it was a mechanical thing that it was crushed. So that went back and that I might buy it sometime in the future. I bought it when it's 30% uh, off uh, sale. It's no longer on sale. And I also bought the Dylan uh, drawstring, which is a rebuy because I bought it. I, my husband bought it for me. I loved it, but I didn't wear it. I didn't go to grab it, so I did sell it and, of course, instantly regretted it. So I bought it again, but the way Dooney sent it to me, oh my God, I couldn't believe I was... It, they didn't send me the bag, whole, stuffed and everything like that. No, you know those uh, those vacuum bags that you put a vacuum on in it and it sucks out all the air so you could pack like 50 things in your luggage? That's how it came. It came totally flat and folded, folded up like this and flattened basically pretty much no air in that bag, that cellophane bag that it was in or plastic bag, whatever it was. And, um, I was not going to work to get all those uh, fold marks out. When I buy a bag, I don't want to work to get it to be normal how I want it. I'm paying enough money that it should come. And I think that, I know that uh, Dooney manufactures it, but perhaps their, manufacture, perhaps their manufacturer section or something like that puts the bags like that. They send it to Dooney and their other uh, department gets it ready for delivery for the for aesthetically ready for the customer and this was not this way and I, I maybe that's their custom now I hadn't bought anything for them in a long time but you know I sent it back and I'm moving on from that bag and the third thing I bought was from I love Dooney and I love this bag and I wanted to make it work for me and this is it this is the Ashton tote and oh my God, it's stuffed now. It's going back to UPS as soon as I finish this video. This leather, the minute you open the box, you know you got a, a cattle in here because it, it the, strong, the scent is so strong of leather, fantastic smell, and it's so, so well made. Such a great bag. I have two issues with it. Uh, this. This bag is like modeled. I don't know if you could see. You could see it on the angle, but it's actually like um, crosses in here. And I didn't realize how bad it was until I went to Macy's yesterday. Yes, Macy's is open by me. And so I went and I saw their uh, Ashton bag and theirs was smooth and it, it wasn't modeled at all. But that's not the major problem. That's not why I'm sending it back. The, hi, sweetheart. Yeah. You scared me. <laughs> the reason I'm sending it back is the strap drop. Now, the I need a strap drop. This is that is sufficient for me. I don't like short strap drops, and I'll show you why. But this strap drop on I Love Dooney, and not on um, not on Do not on Dooney, but on I Love Dooney. They have one now in chestnut, and they have no uh, no amount of inches for the strap drop. So I measured it myself just before I went on film, and this is nine and a half inches from here to here, and that is usually a sufficient 
a strap job. But the, the way the handles are turned in, and maybe they will soften up in time, but they're really uncomfortable for me. I like a nice size strap job, and I like to wear it back here. And it, it's not, it's, it's not, these handles are not comfortable, comfortable for me. Also, this is 2.2 pounds, according to Dooney. I didn't weigh it. Um, Dooney site does, uh, I love Dooney site does have it. It's 2.2 pounds. So I put my things in it, and it was really heavy for me. And I didn't put a lot of things. I just put normal carry, and it was just too heavy for me. Maybe because this is such a solid piece, and maybe 2.2 pounds in a lighter piece, you don't feel it. But this is this is a gorgeous bag, and I am really so sorry that I have to return it. I really am. But it's too heavy for me. So that's why I'm returning it, and I wanted to explain that. And I wanted to show you the difference between this bag, which is the Coach Market Tote, it's all stuffed and I don't put this, I don't connect it while it's stuffed because I don't want to make indentations. And this is a 10 and a half inch uh, strap job. And this is, and it's light, this bag is very light. And this is absolutely perfect for me. I could swing it back there, wear it all day, and it's just super comfortable. This is, this is my favorite, well, I have a larger one that is actually my favorite bag. This is my second favorite bag, and it's, it's a pleasure to carry. It's never a chore. And one more is this, my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Now, this is an 8-inch drop, and that is way too small for me, way too small. My, I bought this right before COVID struck and we were quarantined and all the stores were closed. So uh, Louis Vuitton is allowing, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, exchanges and refunds uh, after the stores open. My store, which is in, my closest one is in, uh, where is that called? That's called Kings County in Washington State is it's closed now. They are still in phase one. They are not approved to go into phase two and they're not open. So I still can't return it, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it or exchange it. My original intent was to exchange this because the inside is wonky. And if you see, reference my original video on this, and I will link it below the, the video, uh, the, I showed that the tape, you know, the tape that covers the seams and it's on both sides over here inside were not flat. They were away from the bag, which I've never seen that before. And the bottom is all wonky like this. I just, I was, I told my sales associate that please give, you know, uh, to stuff it so I don't have the wrinkles. I don't know for sure, but I think this was a display. And he sent me a, a dust bag, which is too small for this. And I don't want to fold, it's not small if you fold it, but I want to keep these, these handles straight for the next person who, you know, I don't want to, once the handles are like this, They'll always go back to this, even if you hang it up for a while. They'll stand up for a while, but then they'll go back like this. And how do I know? This is the reason why. And this is, I have tried to get these handles to stand up for, not to fold over like this. And I understand that they, they soften in time, but sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it really doesn't work for me because uh, I just gave a bag, I had one of the coach bags with the zipper and the same material as this one. It's a polished pebble, but it's a, a different kind of polished pebble. And um, the handles flapped in my face all the time. I couldn't get it straight, so I just gave that to my daughter-in-law. She just had two babies. So I don't know if I'm going to actually keep this or exchange. I know I'm not keeping this one. 
I might exchange it for another one, which is the same color, the beige inside, or I might exchange it for the fuchsia or the red, or I might just change it for something else. Um, my sales associate wants me to get a, 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 a what's it called? Pouchette, Petit, Pouchette Matisse, he wants me to get that. But I love the, the coach one. I love the one which, which is, that's another thing. My coach, uh, my coach Cassie, the strap kept falling off. So I had no idea we were gonna be locked up. Nobody did. And I sent it in for repair and it got in the twilight zone of us being uh, locked up in our homes, you know, on lockdown or whatever you call it. Uh, they shut down, they still haven't opened, and it's been over three months. So I don't, I know I'll be getting the bag back, but I don't know when, but I like that, that Cassie so much, I don't feel I need a, a petite mousse, Mat what's it called? Pouchette Matisse, I don't know, I keep missing, mixing that up today. I know what it is, but I just keep mixing it up. So this is what I'm returning, and I wanted to explain why, and I will, Definitely be returning this. My coming back might be coming back with the exact same thing, only a different one that isn't wonky inside. Of course, for the money, it should be it should be right. Uh, maybe a different color. I don't know, but definitely have to return this. Unfortunately, but if you are in the market for this, there is a chestnut one on I Love Dooney today. Uh, I paid 177, and on today it's 174. And this is a really, really well-made, beautiful bag. So I hope I didn't offend anybody. I just wanted to inform you my opinion. And I thank you all for spending this time with me. I hope everyone is doing well. And it seems like we're at the, there's a light at the end of this tunnel, God willing. Well, thank you, everybody. Take care. Be well. Stay safe. And I hope to see you again soon. I love you guys. See you next time, my friends. Bye now.